Hey everybody, Steve Cook with Premier Guitar, PremierGuitar.com here with Adrian Ballou. How you doing? Good, how are you? Your, your resume reads like a who's who of rock and roll and the like. I mean, I don't want to sit here and inflate your ego too much, but, oh, wow. but if... Go ahead. Okay, Wikipedia, just do, I mean, pause this for a second. Wikipedia and then go back and then it reads <laughs> like this long on a screen of who you worked with. So it's an honor for me to be standing here with you and I appreciate your time today. Thanks, uh, my pleasure. So we are in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. And uh, we're 12th and Porter getting ready for a show. Gonna be a big show. This is where I live. So, you know, I'm gonna have friends and family and lots of right. things ha going on and I'm really excited about it. That's awesome. And you get to sleep in your own bed tonight. Yeah. Which is good. For the next few days, in fact. We have yeah. about an, a 10 day break before we resume and we do 18 more shows. Excellent. Promoting been, the new record. It's been a big tour. Promoting? Well, there's not a new record. There is a new music app that okay. comes out this Tuesday. It's called Flux, music that is never the same twice. It's a concept that I've had for many years, and it's taken about five actual years of, of recording it and working on it to bring it to fruition. It's hundreds of bits of pieces of music and songs, and they come at you in a feather, fairly rapid pace, and they're they're interrupted by little things we call snippets, which could be anywhere from about a second to say 15 seconds long. And um, so you're listening to a portion of a song and all of a sudden maybe a car horn or a telephone rings or something and then you're on to the next piece. Wow. And, and it has visuals. It's an app for iOS, uh, iPhone and iPad. And those visuals are always different, always changing too. So it plays for half an hour each time you play it. and each half an hour is going to be Different never the same as any other half an hour, ever. So you've always embraced technology, you know. I mean, you've always sort of reached out. I'm, you know, dare I say left of center and, and tried to use what we have available at the time. Yeah, and I've been really, really fortunate that, that technology, music technology, has right, like been right alongside my career. They've just gone. When I started, you had an amp and a guitar. Sure. And that's it. And now I play through a laptop computer. <laughs> and some other toys. And everything and that's been, yeah, well, and everything. I'm just making the point sure. how far it's gone right. in, that, uh, in that period of time. And I, I love technology for these reasons. It, it always excites me to find something I could never do before. A new sound, a new technique, right. uh, some new device that, that creates something for me to work with, inspires me to write new music, and then becomes a part of that music. And that's the beauty of what we do, you know, and having the, the inspiration hit you from other places, not necessarily maybe guitar, but the weird noise you got from said technology. Yeah, or, you I mean, know, just way, way, way places. back when I started making, you know, animal noises and I made a rhinoceros snorting kind of sound, I thought, well, you got to have a song to put that in because otherwise <laughs> it's just a goofy gimmick, you right, know? Right. So I wrote The Lone Rhino, my first solo record around that idea. Beautiful. Yeah. And speaking of beautiful, you're holding your number one. This is my number one baby right here in the world, made by Parker, of course. Your signature model? This is the Adrian Blue signature model. And um, the only real things I changed about the actual guitar, because Ken Parker had already perfected the guitar, um, and he did that somewhere along the, the line in the 80s. So when I decided to make this my, my guitar all the time, I just wanted to bring on to it on board some of the uh, latest technology sound-wise. So you have the Variac system here, okay, which gives you 25 different types of guitars, 12 strings, acoustics, sitar, dobro, How many of these are you using? I don't show? use any of them in the live show. Okay. I, it's strictly a studio thing that okay. I do because I don't have time to really dial them in. You can, someone sure. can do that. It's very easy to do. It's uh, either in its off position now, if I press it down, it's on. This knob right here is the same. If I pull it up, it's the sustainer pickup. Okay. And uh, if you click it, there's a little click at the end. You hear that? Yep. Then it goes into the higher octave. And of course, I use the sustainer throughout the show. And, and, and for those that don't know, I mean, sustainer is just 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 what it says. It is endless. Endless it's, sustain it's on endless. every note you play. Uh, this is the master volume, and it does three master volume things at once because of the fact that it's it's controlling the piezo pickup, it's controlling the MIDI guitar part, and the sustainer. So it's got a lot of work to do, this little master volume. Well, no, this isn't true MIDI, is it? Is it? We were this talking earlier with your tech, pin. that's how I know. Okay, yeah, so it's 13 right. pin. It's a 10 right. pin. Okay. And uh, 
Now, the only other thing I changed about the guitars, I asked them to put on these custom car finish paint jobs, 12 stage paint jobs that kind of look nice under lights. And that's a mahogany body? Is that what? Bass, basswood, I think. Basswood, yeah, okay, because so. your signature model, the, yeah. the production model is mahogany, that's what uh, I asked. But, okay, well then it's mahogany. Know, it's mahogany, <laughs> sure, it, we're basswood, either you're, one. You're asking me, either one. I don't know. Sure. Sure. why would I know? The volume control, is that running, uh, so these are all same level? You yeah. said it controls yeah, three things. Yeah, they should okay. be same level. Okay. There are, there are there's some little holes here in the back, you see? Okay. That can adjust the uh, the the levels of the of the, the two pickups and the piezo. Okay. So what you have on this guitar five-way switch-wise, this is that pickup. Mm -hmm. The middle is the piezo pickup, and this is the bridge pickup. Gotcha. Uh, in between are combinations, bridge and piezo, or here, uh, neck pickup and piezo. And that's what kind of pickup in the That in is the, a DiMarzio. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is an original brand uh, sustainer. Gotcha. So what else Beautiful. can I tell you about it? It's got the best tremolo system I've ever played. Talk about that. It's not a spring system, is it? It's not. It's a, it's a kind of a thin bar. It's shaped a little like that, and it flexes as you use the guitar. I've got this set up so that I can play the guitar down or a full third up. Stays perfectly in tune, it's got Spurzel tuners, and, and the best neck I've ever played, which is why I love my guitar. What's the profile on that neck? Is it just... It's super thin and it's super quick, and because of the, the... There's perfect intonation on this neck. Now, with a Parker Fly, what they do is they, they coat it in the back with some kind of carbon epoxy, I think is what it's called, and they bake it in an oven Okay. when it's still a piece of wood. And what happens, that... that uh, increases the tensile strength of the wood by 10,000. So this neck is not going to move no matter what. Uh, so when you're, you're flying or you're... You, you can know, stand on it in your gotcha. kitchen if you want. No and, problems. And it's going to stay perfectly. Now also one new thing that I've, I've just started doing in this tour is using these new strings, the Adario strings, they're called NYXL, mm -hmm. NYXL, and I swear to you, I you saw me, I, I just put a brand new <laughs> set on, <laughs> brand new set, took five seconds to do because I just boop, through here, cut them off. Right. And I tuned it once. <laughs> Stays in tune. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I mean, what, what else can you ask <laughs> you of a guitar? You, you know. Uh, also, of course, it weighs four or five pounds, so it's right. you know very, very nice and light. Feels really good to play, and I couldn't love it more. It's my favorite.